name is Susan Etheridge, and I am the Executive Director at CASA of Collin County. My name is Mike Anderson, and Terry, I am here tonight to share with you this great day in your, in your life, a change in your career, the end of one career, and really starting of another one. And it's uh, such a pleasure and an honor for me to be here and share this time with you. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. We are the organization appointed by the district courts to 100% of the children so seriously abused and neglected that they had to be removed from their homes. We use well-trained volunteers to serve these children to make sure that they don't drop through the cracks. Unfortunately, we have to raise the money every year. For those of you who may not be as well versed with Terry's career, I would like to focus on one aspect of that career which I think is very significant. My first encounter with Terry Box was in 1981 when he came to the Collin County Sheriff's Office as a young lieutenant from Plano. A relationship based on respect for each other was established which has remained constant for over 35 years. The fact that he has been chosen by the citizens of Collin County to serve as their sheriff for over three decades speaks to his character. And one aspect of that character is seen in his efforts that have been made to provide assistance and accommodation to both individuals and organizations within the county. Early on in his tenure as sheriff, a suggestion was made that he hold a golf tournament to raise money for his campaign fund. As we all know, raising money for a campaign for any public office is difficult and not the most desirable thing one must do, even though it's necessary. But Terry rejected the idea for that purpose, but thought it might be a way to benefit some more of the nonprofit organizations that serve the Collin County residents. So was born the Sheriff Box Shootout for Kids 9 to 90. And the fact that it has been held each year now for the past 24 years is evidence of its success. It grew from a respectable start to an annual event that participants have looked forward to every year. Organized and conducted by volunteers with his oversight, the event has been supported by businesses and personal financial participation as well as direct support to the recipient organizations. And over the past several years, the organizations he selected as beneficiaries from the tournament are the Herd Natural Science Museum and Wildlife Sanctuary, Court Appointed Special Advocates of Collin County, otherwise known to most of you as CASA, the Children's Advocacy Center of Collin County, and the Wellness Center for Older Adults, formerly known as the Geriatrics Wellness Center of Collin County. To date, the designated organizations have received over $2.2 million. And through those organizations, countless Collin County residents of all ages have received assistance that has been educational, life-sustaining, life-changing, and in some cases, yes, life-saving. The work done by these organizations cannot be adequately described in words or pictures. One must see it firsthand to truly appreciate the good done by each one of them. I met Sheriff Box in 1994, but I really didn't get to know him until 2007 when I took over as the director here at CASA. Now the sheriff had been running his golf tournament for a number of years. CASA, however, was not one of the lucky four to be beneficiaries of this tournament. Now, you know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than to be smart. And it just so happened that one of CASA's fabulous volunteers, Virginia, lived next door to the sheriff and Rindy Box. Now, Virginia and Rindy were best friends, more like sisters, really. They shared their love of fur babies and shopping. So Virginia convinces Rindy of the benefits of CASA, and they begin subtly working on the sheriff to make CASA one of the lucky beneficiaries. Now, I'm not going to lie, it took some time, but if you know Rindy in Virginia, nobody can stand up to him for forever. 
So, in 2009, we became one of the lucky few. And I want to tell you the huge difference the sheriff in that golf tournament has made for CASA. In um, 2008, everybody remembers the economic conditions then, we bought a building. And we had a capital campaign to pay for the building. Okay, people weren't giving in 2008, and uh, it wasn't going very well. So, um, becoming a part of the golf tournament made a huge difference for us. To date, not counting this year, CASA has received over $459,000 from the Sheriff's Tournament and through that tournament from the B.B. Owen Foundation. We were able to pay off our building thanks to the lucky benefit of Virginia and Rindy living next door to each other in 2013. We will be forever grateful to the sheriff for that. It has made a huge difference. So we wanted to honor the sheriff. And we thought and we thought and we thought and we couldn't figure out what to do. So we decided to name the children's wing of our building after him and honoring the B.B. Owen Foundation. So this was a big secret and we didn't tell him. We invited him to come to lunch. Now, through the grapevine, I did happen to hear that the sheriff does love homemade food. The only problem is cooking is not one of Rindy's loves. So we decided that we would have a homemade lunch for him. Everybody was instructed at CASA to couldn't buy anything. You had to make it from scratch. So we had the lunch. We unveiled the plaque showing that they were named for the, as the beneficiaries of the children's wing. And the lunch was wonderful. All homemade stuff. So we're finished. And uh, Rindy has to go back to work. And we're all kind of cleaning up. And the sheriff kind of comes up to me. And you could tell he was a little embarrassed. And he said, uh, Susan, what are you going to do with all those leftovers? And I said, well, I'm going to package them up for you. We hear that he ate on that for three days. We are thrilled to be one of the lucky few to benefit from the golf tournament. Bless you, Sheriff Box. I hope your retirement is fabulous and everything you want it to be. The legacy, Terry, that you will leave is made up of many accomplishments on both local and state level, yet the decision you made years ago to help those who help some of our most vulnerable will be one of the most appreciated decisions of your career. It has been a pleasure to spend these years working with you, and it's been a pleasure to know you and be a close friend. Best wishes to you.